All right, we're back. Part seven? That sounds right. <clears throat> I uh, I don't really remember. <laughs> this is not going to surprise anyone. I don't really remember what I was doing. Uh, or how to play. It's been like two weeks since I played last. <clears throat> but we'll do our best. Um, uh, cool. I think I need to go to Bergemon. I just don't remember where Bergemon is. Uh, cause I would like fast travel. I think that'd be pretty cool. That would be as the, uh, as the kids and the hip young people say, pretty poggers. What the hell is this? <laughs> what? I just found a fucking beached whale in a swamp. What do you mean? What do you mean? What do you fucking mean? Stop saying, uh, stop dropping that bomb so close to the uh, beginning of the video. It's gonna end badly for me. A legendary deity of the sea, this giant, gluttonous, heavyweight whale, can you relax, <laughs> is enormous in size. In fact, this fish when eaten is also divine. Okay, well, that's that's something. That was so big. Oh, wow, okay. Hey, I found Guillemon, too. He's uh, He's been eating his Wheaties. <laughs> he's so big. Oh, I feel such a burning... I, I want to do the Guillemon voice, but he doesn't speak eloquently, so when I speak like... A normal person it just sounds like a nerd um, like ah Takata man uh, but oh, I feel such a burning desire is there no one here to take care of it I'll take care of that oh no I couldn't bur I couldn't burden you with that my passion is sculpting I want to sculpt something with these claws something solid something artistical say do you happen to have something I could make a sculpture of actually yes this is it that's what I've been looking for this giant ore can take all this passion of mine I'll get right on it, but not here. City's a much better place for that. So I'm going back to the city. When you see something artistic in the city, I want you to know it's my work. See you later. Bye, giant Gimon. All right, off to a good start. First, uh, we got a recruitment in the first three minutes. That's a... I thought that was a Steelix for a second. I thought that spine was a Steelix. Uh, but yeah, off to a good start. I don't remember who else is here. I know Gobrimon is at the end playing tricks. Oh, uh, there's Cherrymon too. I forgot about Cherrymon. Who wanted to see Cherrymon? Someone, someone talked about wanting to get to them. Shrewd King Digio. Oh, and this is one of the stat boosting fruit. That's cool. My dear boy, did you find any spores? Keep looking. Okay. Hey, I'm done talking to you. Thank you. Um, I don't really remember what the spores look like. I might look that up after. Cause, uh, I don't want to spend all my time doing that. I'm trying to look at the map, but doing a bad job of it. I think I'm going this way. I don't really remember how to navigate the swamp that well. Big old Gobrimon. Oh my gosh. Okay. This is where we found Guillemon. Okay. Now it's Sunflowmon's den. Uh, that's where we came from. So I think we go this way. I hate my inventory being full. I really need to increase the inventory size, and I know it's not until very late that you increase it. Um, I thought this was the right way. Hold on, I might have to actually look at this. This is the touchscreen, right? So I can just do this? Yeah, let's see. Sewer maze that way. Okay. I don't know what's... But that must be the Memorial Stella. Let me go down there. That's a dead end. That's a dead end. Night Canyon is where I'm trying to aim for. At least roughly. Okay, so I should have to go this way. No! Um, yeah, it feels good to be playing some Digimon again. I do enjoy this game. Wait, hold on. What? Uh, what do we want to get rid of? Oh, I have so many items. Uh, Vikemon... Uh, oh, we'll get rid of Chumon. Who gives a shit? That's fine. Yeah, I really need to stop off and uh, put my items somewhere. Oh, it's my girlfriend. What is this? Manage GX. Okay, that's fine. Oh, are you spores? These look like spores. Are you the hit EA game spore? Spores? No? It feels like you should be. Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll look that up later. Like I said, I'm, really, I'm not really interested. 
until uh, I'm forced to recruit Cherrymon, which I think I will be because I know he's one of the new Digimon, then I'm just going to continue to ignore that. Oh, yeah, you got this way, which does not look like you'd be able to traverse it. That's right. All right, man. I, um... I want to feed you. And I want to feed you good food, but also... You've, uh, you've lasted pretty long. <laughs> and I kind of need you to die. Because we need a Digimon. We need fresh meat. Someone wanted well-done meat, and I can't remember who, who wanted it now. I remember needing, like, three. Um, but yeah, I need. I kind of need you to kick the bucket because we we've done. We can only do so much with a metal Edamon. Um, so so I need you to be a bro and just like keel over. If that if you could like just if that wouldn't be a bother because that would be really pog of you. So I think I think Bergemon is back this way. I mean, it doesn't help. I, I just the field of view in this is kind of rough. Just like being in a, just being a 3DS game. It's just not a, just not back as far as I'd I'd prefer. All right, we got some eggy weggies. Hold it right there. Nobody's going to hurt my babies. Oh my god. I forgot I have X and Y reversed on this for some reason. So I keep using the summon instead of the special attack. Gumbatane. Damn it, I lost. I can't even protect my babies. I'm not here for the eggs. I'm taking the eggs! I'm not here for the eggs. Huh? You're not here for the eggs. Sorry for the confusion attacking you out of the blue like that. My, baby, my babies are about to hatch. I think they need one more day. Can't leave this place until then. Alright. I'll be back in like 24 hours. I feel like those things should be the spores that I need, but I don't know. I can't seem to like interact with them. Ooh, a little baby Devamon. Little little Pico Devamon over there. Little fucking weenie Devamon. Uh, Alright. Oh, the wood training. I forgot about that. We got Hefty Gobrimon over here. Large MP disc, okay. Are you it? No. <laughs> hey, careful. The path ahead is dangerous. <laughs> dangerous how? You see how deep the swamp is getting? It's per it's got it's a goddamn bottomless pit. Who cares? Even you don't care, I do. Because I'm about to watch a man drown to death in front of me. Alright. I don't want to be a part of it. How do I get through that? What uh, What you should do... Oh, I know. Use those stones. So the stones line at the edges of the swamp. Pick them up and drop them down there. Then we'll have a foothold to cross over. You want to get across, you'll have to gather those rocks first. Hey, what if I ignored you? See so the stone... Oh my god. Can you really not do this until you get at least one stone? You son of a bitch. You fucking prick. Oh my god! I hate this. I hate this. I actively hate this. Uh, King's Horn falls into Mega Copy uh, That's probably. Sorry, Mega Copy Terry Mon. Okay. Let's drop the sucker in there. Red Pebble, too bad. I guess you'll have to bring more stones. That should be enough. Nope, not yet. We have a long way to go. Maybe 19 more would do it. You'll have to keep at it. Good luck. You're kidding. No, wait. Calm, wait, wait. Calm down. I'll take my chances. No, stop. Oops. Guess I'm busted. That's right. There's no such thing as a bottomless pit. Messing with people who come through here, scaring the crap out of them. I'm sorry, forgive me. I'm going back to the town to make up for it. See ya. Fucking bastard. Okay, so it's good to confirm you only need to grab one. Because uh, if I had to grab 20, I would not be a happy boy. I wouldn't really be a boy anyway, because I'm a grown-ass man. But yeah. Uh, let's see. Solarmon. Hey, friendo. I've only had just one missing pe one piece missing. What to do? What's wrong? 
Lots of strange things lying around here, right? I want to combine them and create something really useful, but I just can't seem to find the right part. I just need a, a thin, shiny pipe. Tell me about it. <laughs> it's a penis joke. I think you'd find one in the dumping ground. Uh, do you want me to look for it? You? What do you want to make? Why don't you go look for it for yourself? Can we look for it? Oh, really? Yes, please. I'd really appreciate it. Reach the dumping ground if you head east from here. There's lots of stuff that was thrown away there, so you'll know it when you see it. Please, bring me the thinnest, shiniest pipe you can find. Thin? Oh, sorry. I, I can't bring it to you, then. Uh, I heard some rumors about humans, but you seem like a very kind one. This is to set up a, uh, a training gadget for, uh, that Solomon does, or training gadget, whatever you want to call it. A training area, and I really don't care. <laughs> it's, it's like, whatever. It's not important. I don't really need to be here yet. Oh, wait, isn't this an, a weird area? What is, what is this thing all about again? I honestly don't remember. I think they added this. I think Jermojimon was added in, uh... <laughs> fucking moron. I think he was added in, um... In the 3DS version. <laughs> Hold on, ready? <clears throat> oh, help! Somebody help! What happened? My drill! It's stuck in the black! I can't get it out! Oh, oh, somebody help! Oh! It's weird that it doesn't just, like, automatically progress here. I'm gonna pull you out. Yes, please! You really help me out! Put all your weight on my money and pull as hard as you can! Yes! You gotta really pull... Not that way! The other way! Yes! Like that! <laughs> I like that. Phew! What a relief! You saved me! These things happen sometimes, don't they? No! No, I can't say they do. I'm digging a tunnel. As you can see, there's one going to Fluorescent Cave. It's gonna be a while before it's done, so come back later. Oh, I've heard this shit from you before. It's like, come back when you have like 40 prosperity. And then you can get the Leomon tablet. And then you can recruit Leomon. And also you can find another uh, Nanimon. I'm wise to your tricks. You fucking Gurren Lagen loving bastard. Alright. Hey, it's Tenemon. What up, my Kansai dialect friend? It's hopeless. I just can't turn a profit. There uh, there are a lot of bulky signs around here, so I thought I'd make a huge profit opening a business here. Is it thriving? Not at all. It's totally hopeless. My business is dead. I wonder if I should just shut down the shop. Can I help? Really? You would do that? But I think it's too late for that already. Well, since you asked, I might as well give you a shot. I'm just going to take a walk around the neighborhood in the meantime. If you sell something, make sure to put the money in the cash box. See ya. Looks like nobody's coming. Cheap stuff here, cheap stuff. <laughs> it's funnier as Rena, because Rena would do this. Go figure, nobody's coming. Put your own money in the cash box? Yeah, man, give him a thousand bits. For Tentamon? Dude, anything. Thanks for the help. Well, how much do we earn? Let's see. What? A thousand bit? What? What the? What exactly happened? Are you some sort of business genius? Yeah, I've played a... A business mini game and a Digimon game once or twice. Looks like it wasn't a mistake to open this shop here after all. I don't know why I did that pause. Problem was the merchandise. Now I just sound like Jesse from uh from Yu Gi Oh GX. Problem was the merchandise. I'll be launching a new product now. Something that'll be easy for, uh, easy for me to get. If you like, stop by and take a look as well. I'll give you one of the, one of these for now. Think of it as a thank you from a fellow salesman. I got a Tentamon card. All right, I'm gonna get to work right away. I don't know if that took time. All I know is that... Oh, well, it did take time. That took a huge chunk of time. Edamon is just like, I need to shit so bad. Which, by the way, as someone who's worked retail, I get it. That's relatable. Um, I think I have to leave the area and come back. Also, you can definitely see Marimon over there. <laughs> I mean, I think it's Marimon. Um, yeah, let me... Uh, I'll check this mail when I go back to town, by the way. I think you have to go and come back to get Tenemon to, like, open a shop proper. Howdy, this is the Tenemon card shop. They have some great cards and stuff. Come take a look. All right, which pack do you want to buy? Give me a jumbo pack, my man. Ten cards, and at least one is rare, but costs 5,000... Dude, I got, all the, I got all the money in the world. Let's do it. All right, we got a... Uh, Plesiumon X. 
Skull Scorpion Monarch. Whoa, Skull Scorpion Monarch's colors are really cool. Mega Siege Mon X. Metal Grey Mon X. That just looks like Metal Grey Mon with its like, weird arm now. A lot of X Digimon here. Uh, Lady Devamon, Giramon, Gessamon X, Ast Devamon, Salamon X, Tokemon. Yeah, give me another jumbo pack, my man. All right. Hey, we got we got all these. Ah, oh, Professor Agumon. Okay. Neato. Metal Mon X. I don't really like Metal Mon. I don't. Like, there's a lot of X Digimon that I think are just way over designed. I think I mentioned this before. Um, very few of my like. Yeah, that's a good design. I like the concept of alternate forms to Digimon, but usually with Digimon, they just make them like a different Digimon. Like instead of this, it would just be like, I don't know, like Mega Scorpion X <laughs> or Scorpion. Like th they usually do stuff like that. Uh, another jumbo pack, my man. All new cards, hell yeah, or mostly new cards. I think this one has all the. Uh, does it even have Thundermon X? What the. Fuck? I think this one has most of the... Oh, and they got Shoutmon in here. Oh, crazy. I didn't even realize this game came out after uh, Fusion. That's crazy. Uh, King Edamon, which is the best version of Edamon. Uh, yeah, we got some more stuff here. So I'm hoping to eventually uh, get some sets completed. So I'll spend a lot of my money here. Melteranamon X, Zamielmon. Yeah, we got a lot of uh, Digimon... Actually, Zamiomon is super late, so I guess this came out after uh, after it finished, or after uh, what, what do you call it? Um, uh, Digimon Fusion, or whatever it's Gross Wars finished. I couldn't think of Gross Wars or Cross Wars. I don't know how you want to say it. The Jumbo Pack, my man. Uh, all right, two Wormons. Okay, you know I'm just gonna leave it here. <laughs> Nice. Ooh, Triceramon X. And uh, Sethmon, which is a very uninspired name. I like how all this is the official Digimon art. I've seen some of these art, some of this art so many times. Specifically like the new Mon one, because I've played so many games. The Matador Mon one, they always use that same pose. Uh, ooh, Aldemon. Is this what Gotamon X looks like? Ew. <laughs> it's such a terrible design. Ew. I also hate Golemon with hair. A lot of, a lot of designs I don't like. You complete the card set, Filth Friendship. Uh, okay, so it tells you when you complete it. That's pretty cool. Uh, ooh, Mirage Galgamon, nice. And Alomon X. It's weird that there's an X version of an Armored Digimon. I just realized that feels odd. Gravimon, Magnumon X. I wonder if, which sets will complete. Mothmon? Fighter of the... I don't know. That's, that's the wrong thing. Um, some classics here. All right. Big fan. Shine Greymon looking great. Well, I guess there are... I, Magnumon X exists. So I guess Armored Digimon be, having X versions isn't that weird. But Magnumon's kind of an exception. So I don't really, I don't really think too much about it when he does. He's basically just a mega. Bishop Chessmon, Angemon. Look at these. We're getting some good ones. Gatsumon X is actually a good design. I do like that one. Every Guillemon and Graumon art looks like... I, I can't describe it. It has the same art style as if someone who draws furry porn. It's that That's just the vibe it gives. And it's... Ups <laughs> you can really see it with Graumon X, but it's just very strange. And I think I mentioned this last time we played Digimon World 4. Because they have the cards in that too. And yeah, here it is. I, it just feels too... Anthropomorphic. I can't describe it. The, uh, the style is just off. <laughs> like, and it's only that line specifically. I don't know who the fuck drew him, but it's only that one that like makes me feel like it's inappropriate or something. Link mon. Oh right, it's number one. Uh, yeah, I guess I can just buy these just to just to round out the collection. Shellmon, nice. Dexter Grand Grandkawagmon. So I think he's refresh once a day. Obviously, it makes more sense to buy jumbo packs first, then go and buy single cards because you might get them in the packs. But playing kind of fast and loose with the rules here. All right, starting to get less dupes, or starting to get more dupes, I should say. Means we have more of the collection completed. All right, hey, we got the sword. All right. 
Let me, uh... Rookie Collector Medal. Nice. Show the card sets. Let's see. Well, we don't have a lot of these. What is the sword? You have the sword. Nice. Wait, I'm gonna give you a special reward. Got the Oriukin! Wow. You're doing quite well. What else can I do for you? I think the Oriukin is the item to make either Alphamon or Alphamon, um, whatever his, like, super mode is. Does it tell you what they are? Oh, the Oriukin is an accessory! Hell yeah. Oh yeah, I forgot. This is a way to get a lot of accessories. Honestly, I'm here more for the accessories than I am for the, uh, for the Digivolution items. Give you a special reward. Rubber Plunger. Alright. Let's see. I remember making a lot of uh, a lot of jokes the first time I played this of being like every time I use the or you or put the or you can on someone of just being like while you were while you, while you were fighting or saving the digital world I was studying the blade. All right, let's see. Where do I do this again? That's not right. Oh, accessory. Here we go. Um, let's uh let's get rid of the swirl glasses here. I think we can do that. We got the Angel Ribbon of the Rose Bow. Because he's already got kind of a shit eating grin. No, that's not really doing it for me. Swim Ring, Strawberry Donut, Rubber Plunger. Hold on. <laughs> Alright. It's not bad. It's not bad. Um, or the. Oh, uh, the Oriukin would replace the, the cloaks. So that's, that's out. It honestly doesn't even look that good on him. Also, he looks naked without the cloak now. I'm so used to it. Um, yeah, man, have the, have the plunger instead of the uh, the the glasses. We'll, we'll go with that for to mix it up a little bit. Yeah, you look great. You look ready for battle. <laughs> Just fucking plunger at your side. Uh, cool. Let's uh, yeah, you're ready to sleep. Let's let's go back to town. Conk out there. I have to take the long way back to Bergemon at some point. <laughs> Full collapse. You're hungry again. More mail. I gotta check my mail now. It's been too many. I've gotten too many mails. I need to check it. Alright, let's see. I think I have to talk to, or I think to get the, the meat, I need a, uh, I need to get Agumon in the middle of the night. I think that's one part of it, I forgot that. Or, uh, what is it, Baby Tyranimon? Uh, let's store, let's see. Uh, I'll get rid of the well done meat for now so I don't accidentally use it. Uh, I'm gonna put the protection discs away, I'm not really using them. Store discs we'll keep just in case, get rid of the deluxe mushroom. Get rid of these super godfish. Get rid of all the evolution items. Hey. Nice. Much better. Oh, you know what? I think I remember why I reversed the controls. Because I think it's, uh... In most Digimon games, it's triangle to bring up the, uh, the menu. And I think in this game, it's square. Or no. Yeah. So, like, it feels weird to have it on square, so I swapped it. That's why uh, the inputs are off for me. Alright, let's uh, let's check the, the old mail. It's been, I've ignored a lot. Let's get to it. Oh boy. I sure have. Okay. Uh, I've decided to think a lot. Stock new cards. I got a store is a little away from the entrance. Don't forget. Man, I would never forget you, Tendamon. I promise. Sora gives me a rematch. Or, uh... I'm training. Uh, something you should know. I'll be waiting for you at the Coliseum. Okay. Matt wants to go to the Coliseum again, too. Gorimon's like, sorry I tricked you. Here's uh, a card. Bargemon says come back. Yamon's done. And he gave me... Doruru Drill. Interesting. I don't know why you have that. Heard you fought my friend. How dare you exclude me from such fun? Ugh. So not cool. You'll have to fight me, uh, too. I'll be waiting for the Coliseum for Palmon at the Coliseum's 10th floor. You know, I could have told you it was Mimi just from the way she typed. Managed to leave the city, but there was no way, uh, no one, 
There was no out there I could beat, so I ran to the train garage. It's safe there. Uh, or street. Okay. Southwest of the railroad plains of the train garage. Feeding grounds. Parrot Mount's feeding grounds. Uh, southwest of the railroad plains. Okay. So no need for that anymore since you've arrived. The city is pitiful. You can bring him a smiling apple. Right, you did tell me that. And then... Uh, oh, yeah. He wants to... You want me to check in with Gigimon? I guess I haven't gone to Gigimon in a while. Let's do the arena stuff first. Let's, let's get this done first. So, wait a minute. Hold on. The fuck did I just see? Why is this trash can moving? Why does this trash can have collision? What? Why? What's the point of that? Alright. We got Jumbo Guillemon over here. Okay. I'm gonna make that statue. Oh, boy. That, that, that is something. That's pretty cool. What do you think? This is my masterpiece. It's nice, isn't it? It's really nice, right? For some reason, it's not very popular with the guys in the city. I have no idea why, though. Uh, no. Really should do the, the mansion stuff. I just have no desire to. It just adds on to stuff that it like. I already have so much to do. <laughs> I don't need more assignments. <laughs> that I'm going to struggle to keep. Yeah. All right, I'll take care of these two. Should be able to stomp them without much uh, trouble, and then we'll uh, we'll go back and get a story update. Friendship. I used to think it was just a bunch of bullshit. Whoa, this ten-year-old just said bullshit. Also, why does your sprite have more detail than mine? I'm the I'm the protagonist. What do you mean? Why do you look crisper than me? Uh, but I don't think so anymore. Government and I are connected. Government heard me. Digivolve through our friendship. Called you here to share it with you. Show me the feelings you've taken in your battles. It's mostly just like... I don't really have time to gather feelings, so I usually beat enemies in like three hits. Nice. I, uh, I still haven't learned any new attacks in like forever. Which is kind of upsetting. Kind of wish I would learn more. Malgarumon, we lost. I knew from the beginning you have a very clear understanding of friendship. Yep. Please take this digivolution data from my digivice. Let's meet again sometime. Malgarumon has been unlocked. Hell yeah. I know there was a challenge from Victory Greymon too. Do you need that to unlock Victory Greymon? I just realized. I think you do. I wonder if that's part of the reason why the evolution felt like not randomized. That maybe they're trying to digivolve into Digimon that were uh, not unlocked yet. This one okay? Yeah. I don't think that's the case. But. We'll see. I'm so sorry to call you out so suddenly. Say, do you know what love is? <laughs> I. I don't want to be here. I, I want to leave. I want to leave. This is entrapment. Can you fight all the, uh, the Destin? I actually don't know. I knew you fought. And Matt and Ty. Did they add more for this version of the game? Oh wow, you have higher defense than Metal Gurumon did. That's weird. I really wish you could learn techniques in the arena. I feel like none of my battles are long enough to learn any techniques. Well, maybe I should just... I mean, I, I fully stopped training. So hopefully eventually we start hitting a wall and battles actually get tough. This is my problem with the base game too. Is that like... It's so easy to get overpowered in these games. As I thought, it was foolish of me to be worried. Your partner connected by a tight bond of love. I want to give you this evolution. Uh, yes, yeah, Gurudamon. And chips of love. Nice. Wait, why the fuck didn't Matt give me any items? Why did he cheap out on me? Uh, tenth floor. I don't think there are any other challenges. I think it was just those two and Mimi. The reason I try and prioritize these is that they're time-based, so once you beat them, it's going to take a while for the next one to get sent, so I'd rather just get it done. If they just all were sent, like, individually, it wouldn't really bother me, but... I want to make sure I get through as much of this as I can, especially when it comes to unlocking Digivolutions. Rookie only. Okay. Lovely girl. Okay. Alright. I'm Mimi Tachikawa. Nice to meet you. Here we go, Palmon. Let's do it. Leave it to me, Mimi. 
Why did Palmon have such a rasping voice in the dub? I'm not the only one who's ever questioned that, right? I feel like she, Palmon's voice sounds just like she's like a 50-year-old smoker. No offense to whoever voiced her, but it's just how it, how it felt. I don't know. I wonder if I'll have to unlock Rosemon for this. Oh, Palmon, are you okay? I'm sorry, Mimi. I'm just too weak. Palmon, don't die. Palmon, Palmon. Mimi, I'm not going to die from something like this. What, what? So I was worried for nothing? Let's go home. I just want to go home and have a cold cola. Hey, Mimi, wait. Don't leave, don't leave me. Ballet skirt. Oh, okay. That's pretty cool. I do like more accessories. It does feel like it would behoove me to, uh, to equip a ballet skirt immediately. This seems, uh, pretty obvious. Hold on. <laughs> or I could do that. <laughs> Let's see. How do I... There we go. Um, you know, let's let's do this this low res ballet skirt. Okay, all right, <laughs> okay. I don't need you to immediately show me your ass as soon as you equip a skirt. You fucking sex pest! What the fuck is wrong with you? This is my Digimon, everyone. This is my partner. Remember all that stuff they just said about friendship and love? And then he goes and shows his fucking ass in a skirt. Yeah. Pretty cool guy. <laughs> uh, Alright, well. Let's keep moving. So much to do. I don't think I can go back to Bergemon until like maybe like two days pass. Because I don't remember what time I talked to her. I think it was like around 10pm. So. I'll just keep it some more time. I feel like that pan was pretty slow, this considering there's only five of us. Alright, everyone's here. Oh man, story stuff, yeah. Crazy. It's like, wow, hey, it's it's here's all of you, here's where the story starts to get revealed. Isn't that isn't that super? Isn't that really cool? That's video, remember that? Oh man. That's that's a that's a Digimon, alright. We gotta we gotta go fight Viagra or whatever. I'm not, uh, even when I'm not randomizing this game, this is when I'm just really not that invested. Like, I like the characters enough, or I like some of the characters enough, I should say. But, uh, the whole video and plot line, I'm just sort of like, whatever. I, you know. Like, I like the world in this game, but the plot, I'm just sort of like, eh. Eh. It takes itself really seriously, which is fine. I don't have any problem with like a more mature story, but I'm also like, it takes itself really seriously, but it's not that deep. So like, it feels very incongruent. All right, I can expect some uh, some emails from these guys on how to train the Digimon. All right, we finally found out why we called this world. I think this scene was added for the decode stuff because I don't think this was normally here. We're such a hopeless group, we just want all to do our own thing. That's alright for now. I mean, my dad is in this world. Let's get started with the investigation. Okay, if something happens, send me a message. I'm going to call CM. Okay, if you have anything interesting, let me know. Counting on you. <laughs> he looks like he's going to fight Gomon for a second. No, it's Agrimon. Expansion project complete. Exiting work process. Migrating to living mode 2. Oh, that's right. Once he fixes that, he opens up the, the basement. Can an old man help? What's the prosperity rate? The city's current rate is 37. You see Digimon during your travel, sharp students return to the city. Yeah, I think that's one of the big misses of this game and of the PSP version is uh, when you come back to the town, they don't go over like the Digimon that you recruited, which I think is not fun. I think it's way cooler when you like actually have to like, you get like a recap of all the Digimon that come back. Well, it repairs to me. You can also leave Digimon recharging to me. Uh, I'm good. Thanks, man. Believe it or not, don't need more Numon special attacks. Pretty okay with that. More mail. Oh, good. Oh, wow. Lots more mail. Hold on. I just checked this. You would think that mail would be easier to access considering how often you get it. Uh, Coliseum, 20th floor, right? 20? Yeah, 20th. Okay. Uh, fluorescent cave. And then sewer maze. Okay. And then come back a day later, and then the smiling apple for 
pirate mod. Let me grab a smiling apple while I'm here. Let's do that part while I'm remembering it. Uh, so I mentioned this in another video, but I'll mention it here too. Just recently got back into Bleach Brave Souls, the uh, the mobile game, because one Bleach game exists. That's like more than like, or that's not that. Only one Bleach game really realistically exists on like the big screen. I think the rest are all like DS games, uh, and it's for the PS3, so it's kind of annoying to to get to. But uh, it's not a bad game. Bleach Soul Resurrection or Soul Res Resurrection. Um, I just don't really. Do I not have a Swift Apple? Or a happiness apple? What? Oh no, there it is. It just looks different in this game. Like, why is it orange? Um. But yeah, so I uh, there's really only one Bleach game I could play, and it's the mobile game. So I um, I started a new account on it, and now that I work in the gaming industry, I look at the stuff a lot more a lot more differently than I uh, than I used to, than I did once upon a time. And uh, so. I'm going to give you guys a little insider knowledge here. Ready? You guys are ready for this? It's gonna be, all right, it's going to be exciting. Um, so, uh, when you first start up a mobile game, for a, a mobile game, like, tutorial, so to speak, in in the biz, in the in the industry, so to speak, it's called, uh, it's called a Fatui, or a first-time user experience. That's how it's looked at from the, uh, from the other side. And it's basically like... The goal of a Fatui, and I'm saying it this specifically instead of a tutorial, the goal of this is to get the player interested and invested in the game. Um, that's basically, and it's while also explaining all the mechanics of the game. And with a mobile game, this is an interesting conundrum because uh, mobile games tend to add mechanics as time goes on, which of course they do, right? And so, and like other like games do as well. But they, uh, mobile games in particular, like. You kind of have to have it like as the game progresses, like a longer a game has been released, the more you have to like teach a new player, which is a difficult hurdle to cross, right? Because like, how are you going to explain like six years of game mechanics in like, ideally what is less than two hours of gameplay, <laughs> uh, while also making it fun and not overload them? Um, and it's tough. It's a, it's a tough uh, tightrope to walk. Um, I've seen some that are really not good. I've seen some that give you like no information and just sort of say like, ah, figure it out, loser. I've seen some that go way too long where I'm like, oh my God, can we wrap this up? <laughs> like, I just want to play the game. And then I've seen some that are like, kind of hit the perfect balance. I'm like, okay, I think I understand how this game works. Um, while also, and the other thing is, uh, this is not a secret by any means, but games tend to give you like more resources in the beginning of, uh, or mobile games specifically tend to give you more resources uh, in the beginning, compared to later in the game, uh, because the idea is that they want to hook you, so like you you go and play more, but they also like you know the ultimate goal of a mobile game is to make money, um, and games as a service are like this as well, like uh, think think like Destiny or like Apex or Fortnite Ga games that like are free or have a low cost of entry, but then they uh, but they do want to make money from you eventually. Play, I'll give you a reward if you win. All right, I'll do this again. But uh, yeah, it's uh, so it's very interesting now that I've like, uh, now that I'm like inside the industry, now that I see it from a different point of view. Now that's my my job, so, uh, more or less. That I uh, so I like I like playing games that I don't work on because I get to like look at them and be like, oh, interesting. They did this here and they did this here. And the reason I bring it up with Bleach Brave Souls is that uh, I played that game when it originally came out. I played it, um, and I also played it uh, a few. Like I played it for a long time. The reason that I finally gave up on that game is that I think it was like maybe the fifth anniversary or maybe fourth. I, I think it was in 2020 or 2019. Um, they released an anniversary character they released anniversary like the fifth anniversary i think it was the fifth one fifth anniversary ichigo and byakuya and uh the ichigo one was really broken and also just like he's the main character so i'm like oh, obviously i want this and i had saved ahead of time for like months like maybe like two months i had saved all of my gems i had done every possible way to get more gems to the point where i think i had like 30 pulls 
and there's like a 6% chance to get a 5 star character and like I think a, to get him it was like a 2% chance and I just didn't get him I got like 4 Biagias and just didn't get a single Ichigo and I was losing it I was like how the fuck can I not get this and I like I even like I did the and you, I don't recommend doing this I don't recommend you do this because you can get your account in, in serious trouble but I <laughs> um I even like bought packs in game with the like real real money but I was broke at the time so then I just like claimed fraud and I got it refunded by Google uh, and then when I opened up the game next after I did that the, I got like a warning that was like hey we've noticed like uh, chargebacks on this account you get one warning if you do this again we're banning your account and I was like oh shit <laughs> oh fuck I think I'd already worked at WB when I did that so I was like wow I don't know I wouldn't I don't think we do that or if we do I, I've never actually seen it happen um but I was like, oh, fuck. Oh, no. So, still didn't get it. I'll pick, I'll continue the story in a sec, though. Ah, oh, look at this. I've been waiting for this. Let's look down to the core. Ew. It's because these smiling apples are so damn good. Oh, dear. This problem. I'm so happy. Uh, got a minute? What is it? Very, very busy right now. What do you mean? This is it, boy. I'm the guy who uh, does the air patrol for the city. Well, what do you want? What is it? Uh, you can stop patrolling. What's that supposed to mean? Are you okay now? How? If you the black thing, you really did? That's the case, then sure it's okay. Well, I'm heading back to the city. Thank you. The apple was delicious. Cool. Um, yeah, so I gave up Bleach Brave Souls uh, because I was just so defeated by not getting the character I wanted. And also, I'd spent so much time trying to get, like, the free gems and stuff. Like, like not free, but, like, all the gems I could get in-game for, like, doing story missions, leveling up characters, all, like, the miscellaneous ways to get it. That I'd left myself with not only did I not get the character I want, now there's no way to get for me to get gems except for like new events that happen like once or twice a week. Or once a week or once every week or two, I should say. So I was like, well, this sucks. <laughs> and I gave it up out of frustration. And I, I downloaded it again, I think maybe in 2021. Uh and I uh I tried it for a little bit. I made a new account because I was like, you know, let me start over, see how it works, and it was okay for a little bit. I I didn't really get that into it. Um, but then, um, uh, after that, I put it back down because they released a PS4 version of the game, which by the way, you should give, you, uh, you should give it a try if you're a fan of Bleach. Um, uh, they released a PS4 version, but it didn't have a platinum. So I was like, okay, well this isn't going to hold my, my attention very long. But also not only did it not have a platinum, it didn't, uh, uh, it didn't sync with your account. Like you had to start a new account. And I was like, I'm, I'm not really going to play two accounts right now, so I eventually just gave up. I don't care, I can bring you almost anywhere as long as it's safe. How about it? Uh, let's go. Where do you wish to go? Oh, cool. Oh, okay. So he only gives you the new locations, it looks like. All right. But yeah, I um, so I gave it up, and I re-downloaded it uh, just on a whim recently. Um, like recently, as in like this week. And they revamped their Fatui. Uh, it's also just fun to say Fatui. But they've revamped their uh, their new user experience, and uh, it's good. It's really good. Um, they give you a fuck ton of resources. Uh, they give you like a decent like streamlined. Th they've streamlined a lot of the parts of the game. Like uh, parts of the game that were pretty annoying to do before are now pretty manageable. Uh, like they like they used to make it so you would need to like farm certain things to to get or to like level up characters, and they just like made it so you just don't have to farm them anymore. Um, stuff like that, uh, which I always think is really cool. Um, but yeah, between the streamlining, all that, not no, not only that, they have a new thing that's uh, a beginners pack. So basically, when you create a new account. There's a special like offer in the store that's only available for new players, uh, and it has like 12 characters that are like from the last like year or so uh, that are really really good and like really really like just good for progression stuff like that. But again, you can only do it for like the first like 96 hours. Uh, so I went hard and I like well, so I, I pulled on that because I was like, okay, well this has like the best odds and there's the most characters and they're like most up to date. So like, yeah, I'll just pull on this. I eventually ended up getting the seventh anniversary each year. <laughs> Because that's how long it's been. And I was like, oh, this is good. And I started using him. And I was like, wow, he is really broken. Uh, and there's a system in this game where if you get five of the same character, you can basically merge them together. And you can do it over time, too. So, uh, but if you get five of the same character, you can merge them together. And they get, like, a huge stat boost for it. 
Um, it's it's like another like resource sink, um, but it's also just like it is worth it. And I ended up getting like three of the Ichigo without really trying. And I was like, oh, well, since I have a limited time to do this offer, I should just go for it and just try and, uh, oh my god, another giant fish. Dragon King Kiryu? <laughs> the dragon of Dojima? The dragon of Digimon? Um, but I was like, okay, well, I mean, I've come this far, right? So I should try and, uh, um, I should try and see if I can get five of them. And I was like, it, you know, it's going to be the same thing that happened a couple years ago. I'm going to try and go for one character and I'm not going to get it. It's going to make me not play the game anymore. Uh, but after pulling like a couple times and after like using what I knew of the game, because I played it a lot. So like I knew the ways to get like more gems. Um, I was able to, uh, for completely free, I was able to get five of the same Ichigo after like a good amount of time. And I was like, oh, wow. I didn't think I'd make it this far. <laughs> I didn't think I didn't think that would work. So now I'm working on maxing them out. But I'm also like, I totally realized as soon as I got the fifth one, I was like, ah, oh, fuck, they got me. Hook, line, and sinker. I'm like, of course I'm going to keep playing this game now. Because <laughs> I got a good character. I'm like, ah, oh, damn it. So, currently going through the game again. Uh, having a good time with it. But I, I'll say this about this game. like, It is pretty free-to-play friendly. Um, and what I really like about it, especially as someone inside the industry, like, I'm not going to tell you that I'm not going to, like, explode every time a mobile game tries to make money, right? Like, that's the point. That's why it exists, is to make money. So, like, the people who are, like, decry mobile gaming because it tries to monetize, I'm like, okay, I understand, and that's a valid opinion. But you can't also be the same person who plays Fortnite, FIFA, and Destiny, and Apex, like, all those things that, like also are just designed to make money but they're on console so they're like somehow different it's it's sad and i don't want to be the person to say this and i definitely don't want to be like sound like an apologist because i'm not but that genie's not going back in the bottle fortnite made billions and because of that so many games are going to try the free-to-play model now um or not even free-to-play but just like monetizing beyond that and there's definitely ways to do it that aren't scummy like there's ways to make money while also, uh, while also delivering a good product and de developing a good product for like free-to-play players, like um, things that I like when games as a service uh, or like mobile games try to monetize is like I like it when you can do a certain amount in a day and it feels like a good amount of things. But if you're like really enjoying the game, you can like spend a little bit or like use a resource to try and play more. I think that's a good way to like balance free to play, but uh, Bleach does it in a really good way. I'll talk about it in that in a sec as well. Hey, do you know what this is? It's a log. You got it, a fine story log. If you're a tamer, you should be able to smash the thing in two. Come on, show me what you got. <sighs> I used to be better at this. There we go. Maybe I have enough strength to uh, to go lift uh, Kudamon now. Wait, you really did it? How boring. I used to have fun watching people fail, so now I'm kind of disappointed. I'm trying to get tired of it anyway. I guess I'll just have to go back to the city. But this brat with glasses, he came by the other day, he fell beautifully. He shouted stuff like, help me, Sasha, or something like that. Anyway, maybe I'll see you in the city. I like the idea that Nico tried to do it instead of his Digimon. Um, cool. Yeah, I think that, so I think that opens up the, the log for training. Uh, let me do it again just to pass time. But also because I do need to raise my training a little bit. Um... Try advanced. I'm a capable person. Uh oh. Fuck. I can't get the timing down on it anymore. Um, what was I gonna say though? Yeah, so the way Bleach does it that I think is really good is they make it so in the beginning, like I mentioned, it's really, really, really generous. And then even during the middle, there's a lot of different ways to get gems. Uh, like there's plenty of avenues. So you can be a very free to play player in that game and have a really good experience still. Um, it's the But the way it works is that with Bleach, if you, uh, if you max out a character's level, you can get more gems, which you can use to go buy more characters, and so on, the cycle just continues, until you have most of the characters, which there are like 2,200, I think is what I saw. <laughs> so it is not easy by any means to, uh, I, think that's, uh, I think that's for Barbamon. 
Uh, but it is it is not easy by any means to to max to like become a very like maxed out uh, level player unless you've played a lot. But then by that point, you're so invested in the game that it makes sense to spend if you want to keep playing it. So I really like that. I like monetizing veteran and long term players and leaving it mostly free. Uh, or just free in general for new and medium or uh, new and like mid-range players. I think that's the perfect way to do uh, mon monetizing games. Because if your game is good enough, then people will make it to that point, and they'll, they'll want to spend because they're like, "Yeah, I play a lot of this and I enjoy it. I don't mind spending here." That's uh, so that's my my uh, my talk about Bleach Brave Souls. Thank you for coming. <laughs> and my babies of uh, Ash and are now home safe and sound. I think they've left the nest. I think I should return to the city. We're in a transport service in the city. You're welcome to drop by. I'll be right next to the meat field. Bye. Okay, cool. Uh, that was my one thing. I wanted to make sure I got Burgemon today. Um, because uh, fast travel is based. Um, but yeah, so I'm currently in like the new to mid tier for Bleach Brave Souls. Because I'm a returning player, so like, I know the game. But there's so much of it ahead of me. So I have plenty to go. And it's just good in general. Like I, My favorite thing about mobile games is like if you just have like 10 minutes... Uh, to like kill between something it's good to just like boot it up like do a quest or something or even if you've got like an hour but you're like it's not quite enough time to like get into whatever game you like playing like if I had an hour uh, I don't know that I would play like it let's uh, let me use the good example here um, let's say like Mass Effect right because uh, I'm currently playing Mass Effect a little bit if I had like an hour there's not really much I can do in Mass Effect with an hour because <laughs> it's all like kind of long missions so I'm like you know let me uh, let me boot up Bleach uh, I just play that for a little bit, and then you know, you get it's easy to easy to accomplish a lot in an hour there. So that's how I feel about it. I just uh, I I understand people. I like I understand where people are coming from where they're like, no, mobile game bad. I'm like, yeah, that's fine. They've earned that reputation. <laughs> I don't I don't disagree. Um, but I also think that like you should. There's definitely some good ones in, in between there that are not bad. There are some very predatory mobile games out there. 100% earning the reputation for the entire genre, but you just gotta find the good ones. Uh, howdy, this is a 10 card shop. What do you got today, my friend? Alright, we got Dino Tigermon. I gotta make more money. I'm gonna sell some stuff. Erjimon, nice. Lekismon, nice. Gekamon. I found the two Gekamon here. Arcturimon. Black Gobmon. Chessmon, hell yeah, hell yeah, Kokuomon. I forget who uh, who's whose favorite Digimon is Kokuomon. I think it's someone in the Discord that's Kokuomon as their favorite. Kokuomon's definitely good. Not one of my favorites, but I appreciate it. Shaman X Five, Metal Life Kokuomon. Uh, oh yeah, I think I've only seen that one in pictures. The only picture of Skull Baluchimon that exists. Uh, <laughs> oh, I completed set. D Age Evolutions Three. Okay. Let's let's investigate that. I like how he looks at you like confused when you say you want to buy a single card. I'm like, have you ever played a card game? Most sales are single are single card sales. <laughs> Cause you're trying to build a specific deck. Here we go. Wow, there's a lot of these. Zenage Evolutions 3. Nice work. Wait, I'm gonna give you a special reward. Pyildramon. Ooh, nice. I think if you get all of those, you get the item for Omnimon, I think. It's been a while, so I don't really remember. Um, leave me be, leave me be. I think the middle rod is over here, yeah. Oh god, this little, oh god. So what is this? It's a neon tube. Neon tube, what's a neon tube? Glass tube. Glass tube, what's a glass tube? Transparent tube. Hmm? This one's not transparent at all. Paint and gas in there. Really? Gas, really? If you break this, the gas will come out? Uh, don't break it. I guess it, uh, I see, so it's a big deal then. So now it's best not to touch it and leave it alone. And what is this? What's written on that sign? <laughs> Looks like the name of a shop. Pink shop. <laughs> I see, what kind of shop? A dangerous shop. Oh, a dangerous one, huh? It's best not to get too close to it. You really taught me a lot. There's a lot of unusual stuff here, but there's some dangerous stuff too. I'm scared now. I'm going back to the city. Let's meet in the city. I'll teach you some more. See ya. I, uh... I used to be one of those kids, by the way. I, uh... an inquisitive mind. Or I'd be like, what's that? And you'd be like, oh, it's like, uh... It's a cash register. What's it for? Let's keep money in. Why do you need to keep money in it? To... 
to, to run a business. What's a business? <laughs> that led me to who I am today. Uh, but yeah, it's, uh, it's a lot. Can you tell what I've been playing recently? Like, <laughs> that's the problem is that I've been so busy uh, for like, God, a couple, Jeff, definitely a couple weeks. Uh, that like I haven't really got been able to get into a game since Tears of the Kingdom, which is real. I'm glad I beat Tears of the Kingdom when I did because I've had no time to play since then. Um, but uh, yeah, it's like one of those things where I was uh, I was playing it for so long, or that uh, changing between games has been kind of tough. But also like Bleach Brave Souls is a good game to like just play casually. I'm not really a casual gamer. If you hadn't noticed from the amount of platinums I have, <coughs> 240. Um, but uh, you know. It's fun occasionally. He found it. Thank you. So I can like plead it, come back in a day and see. Okay. You don't join the city, so I'm not really that invested, but you know, more power to you. Can I pick up this tumbleweed? Oh. Disappointing. I don't remember how to get to the sewer. I think I have to go to the, the right entrance, and then uh, Mirai will let me in. I think that's how it works. I'm gonna save after uh, this day wraps up. Just to, just to kind of complete it. Oh, I think I feel like we got a lot done today, but it doesn't feel like it. If that makes sense. I know I just said contradictory things, but I, I feel like I did a lot today, but at the same time, I feel like I did very little. So I'm, I'm confused on how much work I did. Putting all these super cool fish away. That is the problem with the, with the randomizer, is there's just so many goddamn fish in this game. There's so many, and none of them stack. I, d I know I definitely got duplicate items, but uh, I don't really. I don't have the energy to sort through them right now, so I'll do it later. All right, what else did I come back here for? Uh, I want to put the items away. Something else I want to do? I, can, I guess I can get today's meat. I'm gonna try and remember to go to the card shop and buy all the singles that I can, because that's like the best way to complete the thing, but I don't know how good of a job I'm gonna do it. <laughs> oh, I should go back to the Coliseum too. For uh what's her face. Oh, no meat over there. Things mean. I'll have to talk to Ogma during the day. Okay. Oh my god, you stay up so late. Alright, there we go. I'm also like low key trying to wait until he just dies because I'd rather he dies off or uh, between videos so I can just train up a new Digimon. Although I guess I have enough chips where I probably won't even have to train. I'll just fill them with chips and stat fruits and then they'll digivolve into whatever they digivolve into. And you're hungry too? Oh, you're so needy. Actually, I don't think he's been that hungry. He eats like twice a day. I don't know where we were that he got unhappy. I don't know where that when that happened, or if I like skipped a meal or something. I don't think I did anything to make him unhappy with me, but who knows? Okay. My Gogmon, good. All right, so we got the well done meat. Uh, let me go grab the other ones from the warehouse, and then I'll save. And maybe I'll see my inventory and remember next time. But I know that if I... I won't remember that I have two in the storage. I know that for a fact. I know it to be true. I know it deep inside. I can turn my AC on after this. It's been really, really humid. And, uh... I hate that because it'll be like, Oh, it's like 70 degrees outside. Yeah, but it's fucking wet. And I feel sweaty. Even though it's not that hot. And I don't like it. And I want it to stop. And I'd like to speak to a supervisor about this. I'd like to talk to God, please. Tell him to turn the AC down. I keep calling, but nobody's picking up. <laughs> Alright, that's enough of that. Uh, cool. I don't remember who needed the meat, so I'll just kind of save near at the back, and we can do, like, a lap next time, if I remember. I really don't remember who needed it, though. Uh, yeah, that's my, like, main problem with the, uh, the baby Digimon stuff, is, like, there's no way to track, uh, them, other than just talking to everyone. All right, well, that's going to be the end of uh, end of part seven. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a uh, a wonderful day wherever you are, and I'll see you in the next video. Adios.